everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, March the 24th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for their featured race 9, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Broadway Stakes, six furlongs on the dirt, fillies and mares, three years old and up. Race for a stakes prize of some $75,000. Contenders, number one, Risky Rachel, number seven, Big Brownie. Number six, Devilish Spirit, and number four, Victory at Last. From the Thoroughbred Trivia Collection, folks, the Broadway Stakes was first run in 1980. It's a handicap race for fillies and mares. It's named for the famous strip in New York City that's famous for its shows and musicals. In 1983, Aqueduct was the stage for the visiting cast of the hit Broadway musical, 42nd Street. Here in the 33rd renewal of the stakes race for New York Breads, number one Risky Rachel takes a seven level class drop, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number seven Big Brownie has hit the board in power run fashion in four straight, including back to back power run wins in her last two starts. Race 9 summary, number 1, Ris Risky Rachel tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number 7, Big Brownie, number 6, Devilish Spirit, and number 4, Victory at last, 1764 in the ninth from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Broadway Stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park for their race 10 feature, 5.35 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Pan American Stakes. 12 furlong route test on the turf, grade 2, 4 year olds and up race for a stakes prize of $150,000. Contenders number 1, News Dad, number 2, Simmered, number 6, Center Divider, and number 3, Heron's Creek. Number 1, News Dad is the pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of 12 furlongs on the turf. Has hit the board in 4 of his last 5, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Number two, Simard, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last four outings, including a power run win in his last start, beating Newsdad in that race by a photographed nose at the wire 26 days ago here at Gulfstream Park. Race 10 summary, number one, Newsdad, tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, Simard, number six, Center Divider, and number three, Harrods Creek, one, two, six, three, and the tenth from Gulfstream, the $150,000 Pan American Stakes. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race two, the nine to two shot, number seven, Intimate Storm, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, takes a slight class drop, nice overall speed for this sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Hawthorne race course near Chicago, race three, entry number one, Julie Bugs, six to one in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a four level class drop, is the overall speed leader in his claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from both the Big A Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Saturday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.